Hey, welcome back. The Wizard of Colorado here with another dice tutorial. Tonight, we're drawing a D10. I'm going to start by creating a sketch. Select the plane. I'm going to draw a line. The line is going to be 16 millimeters at 90 degrees. From there, we're going to draw another line. It doesn't matter how long or what degree it is. Just as long as it's below this point. We're going to add an angle in here. So D. And select the two lines. And I want this angle to be 52.5. Enter. One more line starting at the starting point. At 0 degrees, we just want to make sure we're crossing that line we just drew. I'm going to trim up the extra of this port line. There we go. And I'm going to delete the other line we just drew. So we'll finish that. Now we've got a partial triangle. I'm going to create a sketch. I want this one to be at the horizontal plane to that triangle. So I'm going to click here. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to create a polygon. It's an inscribed polygon. Selecting at the starting point. We want to make sure we have five sides. So tab five. And I'm going to click that edge of the triangle there. It should, should look like this. We'll finish that sketch. Now I'm going to create a loft. Select the base. I'm going to select the top point of that triangle. Click OK. Now we've got a pentagon pyramid. From there, we're going to create a pattern that's a circular pattern. I'm going to select our object and select the axis. I'm going to select the blue one. Make sure we have it on quantity two. You can see the points are lined up, so I've selected the wrong axis. So I'm going to unclick that one and select the red one this time. Okay, now we see this one's right because the points are not lining up. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to come to the bodies. Select body number two. Right click on that. Move or copy. I'm going to move it up 16 millimeters on the Y axis. It's the same length as the first line we drew. Just so enter. And there we go. Now we got these two on top of each other. And we come up to select both of them, come up here to combine. And we'll make sure the operation is set to intersect. We'll click OK. And there we go. We've got a D10. Super easy, super simple. On our next video, I'm going to draw the rest of the dice. We're going to have the D4, D6, and D8. And if you liked the videos, please like and subscribe for more. And until then, whiz out.